Hello, my Aries babies. Okay, so for today, we're going to find out what your loved one, what your person is afraid to tell you. And keep in mind that when I say loved one, it can be anybody you love. Okay? Spirit, what is Aries' loved one afraid of telling them? We already have the judgment card popping out and the tower and the hermit. Ooh, this person feels like you left them out in the cold. Um, two of pentacles. This person feels like that you left them out in the cold and that something is dead, done, and over with. And that it doesn't have any life left. We have the hermit. They may have retracted back a lot. Um, something fell hard. They may have retracted back an, a lot because you, you may have bottom deck energy we have is the two of swords. Yeah. Okay. So the two of swords, they're feeling like they have to blindfold themselves and they have to block their heart. So there could have been something that happened that... Everything just came crashing down. Okay? They had to go into self-reflection. They had to reassess the connection. But with the Two of Pentacles after the Tower, they would love to balance it out. But the Four of Pentacles, there's a sense of them wanting to be stubborn about it, though. The only reason why they're wanting to be stubborn about it, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay? The Wheel of Fortune is... They're manifesting good things to happen that's meant to happen within the connection. Like, they want good things to happen within the connection. But what they're being stubborn about is, is like, let's say they say they're okay with being friends, but really what they're hiding from you is that they would love to have more than that with you, but there's something here that deeply hurt them. It's like there's something here that hurt them so bad that they don't want to admit how much they care about you. Um, and the Two of Pentacles usually means a balance after a conflict. So it's like they're still there. They're still around. But they're trying to block themselves off entirely. Like there are certain things that they're not looking at. If you had a person who was looking at you as a future okay and if you make them feel like they're not part of that future then they may be retracting themselves from that and taking it out of their own manifestations it's like i'm not gonna i i can't allow myself to see this person in my future if they don't see me in their future and so i feel like something happened to make this person feel like that you no longer see them or you don't see them. Period. So, with the judgment card, they feel like that you have no feelings left for them. They are feeling like they are out in the cold. They're doing a lot of self-reflection. They're trying to figure out their own happiness, their own path. They're going through it. <laughs> They're trying to balance things out. And they don't want to tell you how, how they feel. They are working on their own manifestations. And they are working on um, what is supposed to be for them. I don't see them chasing you down. I don't see them running from you. But I don't see them chasing you down either. It's more like a whatever happened, happened. I'm accepting it. And that's just how you are. And I'm going to move on. You know, like that is the kind of attitude that I'm getting. They could be very standoffish. For those that are into zodiac signs, I see Libra, uh, Virgo, um, Capricorn, Heavy Capricorn, and those are the zodiac signs I see. All right, so we're gonna pull some. We're gonna pull a message from your loved one. 
Um, also, if you're interested in a personal reading, the link is right here. Or you can swipe left and go to my link tree and my information is there as well. Alright, spirit. What message? Okay. Your loved one is really quick to talk. <laughs> We have criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. Remember I told you that this person is like, they are, they're, they are removing themselves. I'm not necessarily saying it's in a healthy way, but they feel like they could be, either they're not being valued, they're not being seen, or they don't feel like they're being valued or seen. And this is what's causing their removal. They don't want to fight anymore. Is what Spirit just said. They don't want to fight anymore. It's like, it's life is too short. You don't need to be sitting there fighting and doing all that. So, they could still be in a very hurt space. They need to know how much they mean to you. But you have to show them that. You have to tell them that. You know, like... You have to let them know how loved they are because right now they're not feeling it. So that is what I have for you for today, Aries. I'm sending you so much love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.